Have you ever been in this situation where you have some tabs navigation within your X router and then you would like to push to a different screen that's going to sit on top of everything or this screen is going to push all the tabs navigation uh, away? It's like recreating WhatsApp, right? You have the tabs, we can you can press on the tabs, but then uh, when you navigate to the conversation itself, the tabs are going to be pushed and the conversation is going to take the entire space, right? When you go back, the tabs are going to appear. I'm going to show you how I'm dealing with this situation in Expo Router. Before we jump into the PS Code, I'd like to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, SoftTermation. SoftTermation is organizing this beautiful React Native and Expo focused conference called App.js. That's happening at the end of May, 28 to 30 of May. It's a two-day conference plus a one-day workshop, and they just announced the first batch of speakers. Amongst them, there is Delphine, that's, uh, she's going to talk about text streaming in React Native, uh, might be related to AI, you'll never know, I'm really looking forward to that talk. Alexander from Partyful uh, is going to tell us how a team of 10 developers without any mobile experience released the best Google app in the App Store. And Enzo, he's going to talk about Reanimated and Skia and uh, how to play around with it. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking forward to that. And I'll be there as well, giving two different workshops, intro and advanced animations in React Native using React Native Reanimated, along with my friend Casper. If you haven't grabbed the ticket yet, I, I believe now is the time. You can use Catalin 20 to get 20% off at the checkout. It doesn't matter if it's just the ticket or the combo ticket plus the workshop. Catalin 20 is going to work. Really looking forward to meet you all there in person. Thank you very much, Softermation, for sponsoring this video. Your support means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, uh, it keeps me doing those kind of uh, tutorials. And now let's uh, jump into VS Code and see how we can create tabs, navigation systems used inside the Expo Router and how we can push the navigations around. Shall we? All right, so I'm here in the terminal and I would like to create a, a new Expo project with Expo Router. So I'll do ban X, I'll create Expo app and latest. Basically, this is saying use the latest Expo version available. And now I need to specify a name. I'll do tab Expo Router Playground. Okay, hit save. This is going to also install all the dependencies. And let's open up in VS Code this project. We are in VS Code now, with, and uh, let me show you uh, the project, the structure of the project. So we have the, the app itself. Uh, basically, this is the route. And let me actually start the, the bundler here so you can also see what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, the bundler has started. I have this into the simulator. Let's wait for the building. Okay, so we have two different tabs. We have a home tab and an explore tab. And the way how this is working, well, you have the app folder. The app folder is defining all the routes, right? So we have a layout. Uh, inside this layout, we have uh, two different, uh, a stack and two different screens. One screen is for the tabs uh, group, which is inside the parenthesis and then we have a not found just in case you don't know i don't know you deep link to something and the route doesn't actually exist it's going to uh, it's going to render this not found route but otherwise it's going to render the tabs and the tabs if we take a look at it it's inside is going to also have a layout that's uh, basically defining the tabs you know you have a tab navigator inside and two different routes we have an index route and an explore route okay and uh, what I would like to first start uh, with is this screen that's pushing the tabs. So basically, we are going to render here a button. And when you press on the button, it's going to navigate to a screen, but pushing all the tabs. So in order to do so, we need to uh, just create a sibling of these tabs. So we can create here, uh, let's say, chat.tsx. It's going to be a sibling of the tabs grouping. And I'll default export uh, chat, hit save, go to the layout and uh, define this chat. So I'll do stack sc that screen. The name is going to be chat and I would like to display the, the header. Why not? Okay. Now hit refresh. Nothing is going to be happening because uh, we haven't defined the link. So we can go to the tabs inside the 
the, the index, basically the home screen here. I can uh, copy this part, remove a couple of things. Uh, let me clean up a bit the things. Okay, so we only have the hello and I'll import the link from export router. And inside this link, I'll say uh, the theme text title, welcome, I'll do go to chat, okay? And for the link, I can specify the href to be chat. Hit save, and now we have the go to chat. When I'm going to press on it, you'll see we are going to have a new route that's basically going to push all the tabs together. And if we go back, we're again going to see the tabs. So pretty much this is how WhatsApp is doing it as well. So you have a sibling route of the tabs that's going to push everything. Of course, you can also have a chat model. So I can create a new chat. I'll copy everything, create the chat model and do chat model here. And where we define the chat, let's copy this and do chat model. And Press save, go back to the index and uh, go to chat mod. Okay. Again, this is, oops, okay. I had to refresh. Um, this is going to go to the, to the, to the chat model, but with a, with a card or a push type of uh, navigation. And I would like to make this uh, model. So if I go to the layout of, of, of the app, uh, and I can specify different options for this uh, chat model, amongst which is a different presentation. And for the presentation, I'll just do a form sheet for now. Okay, hit reload here. And now the normal chat is going to be a push, is going to take the entire space and go back for the chat model is going to open up a model again, sitting on top of everything. Okay, which is really nice really, really nice. This is the de uh, desired behavior. And this is how you actually create screens that are going to sit on top of tabs navigator in our example. Last, I would like to quickly show you how to uh, have a stack inside the, the tab. So basically this home, I would like to have the, the home, but also another details home uh, that's a stack inside, right? So to do so, we can go to the tabs here and uh, create a new folder saying uh, home. Okay, and inside this home, I will move the index, okay, this index uh, thingy, uh, and I will also like to have uh, details.tsx and uh, create this details, home details, okay, and this home should also have a layout, and the layout for it is going to be, again, a default home layout, and as a render, I will just return a stack from Expo Router. So all the routes within this home folder are going to use the stack navigator. And now if I hit reload, you see this screen doesn't exist. And the reason is because Expo expect to have an index file associated within each individual folder. So as you can see, the tabs doesn't have any index. So let's try to create that, okay? Let's create an index.tsx. Uh, export default tabs index. Okay. Hit reload and we have the tabs index, but it's, uh, no, no, no. We just want to have it there as a dummy route. So what we can do is we can return null for now. And this is still going to be the, the initial, the initial route, but this time we are going to use a redirect and I'm going to show you how to do it. So two things to keep in mind. One, I would like to basically hide this tab. And the second one, I would like to redirect to this route that I've just created. And uh, if we go to the uh, to the layout of the tabs, uh, we can, uh, first of all, this tab index, it's now going to be the home, which is this, uh, which is the, uh, the new, the new, a folder with a stack that we've just created. So now if I go to the home, you see this is the home, we can go to chat and everything is going to uh, seamlessly work again. Uh, but I would like to hide this index. You see, you, you still have the index here. And how we can do it? Well, we can define the tabs screen here. The name is going to be index and we are going to specify redirect. And this redirect is going to say, 
Okay, so this is a redirect route. We are not interested in not even showing it to the tabs, but we are going to redirect to the first available sibling within these tabs. In our example, this is uh, the first sibling, which is the home route, you know, it's like because the, the order matters how you are going to display all the routes within the tab. So if I hit uh, uh, save here, uh, you'll see that the index disappeared and now the home uh, the, the home uh, folder here is the default route for our tabs. So hit reload, you see, it's the home, boom. And now you see, you, you, we also have this header, which is annoying. So if I go to the tabs, uh, home layout, I can define the screen options. You know, the header shown is going to be false. Okay, so we are not going to display the header for this particular home, but I would like to display it for the details. So now if I go to the to the index, uh, let me copy again the things, uh, but this time the href is going to be home details and go to home details, okay? So I have another link that's basically targeting the details screen within this home, uh, the home uh, route, okay? So I'll go, oof, you see? We still have the tabs because this lives within the tabs. It's not a sibling of the tabs. So it's inside the home uh, stack navigator. So that's why we still have the, the tabs visible here. But now we don't have any header. And I would like to go back to, to the thing. Of course, you can press again on the home and it's going to go back. But I would like to have the header visible. So now if I go again to the layout, home, uh, I can define, you know, for the stack screen with the name details, I would like to make the header visible. So header shown is going to be true. So now we actually have the header visible only for the details stack, which is amazing. It's amazing. Now, you see this index it's like users are going to be confused. There is no index, right? There is the home. There is no index. So in order to fix that, you can have the screen stack with the name index. We can have a different options. We can define a title as home, of course. And now uh, if we navigate again, it's going to uh, display home. But if you don't want to have any title and just have the back, you can have, you know, the title is nothing. And now if we navigate again, it's going to be a back title, which is fantastic. All right. And the, the last step that I would like to uh, test, it's uh, web. And uh, if uh, I open up the, the web version now, you'll see uh, this is the web. Uh, we can also press on the button. So the go to chat, you see there is no tab at the button. Uh, if we open the home, uh, this is an internal route within the home uh, stack. So we still have the, um, the tabs available for us, right? This is the tabs, this is a model, and we don't have the tabs available to us. We also have a back button. And on the home details, because this is a nested route, um, we might have an issue and you still have a back button because you have navigated manually to that. But unfortunately, this is not going to work if you refresh, for example, the page. You see, if you refresh the page, there is no back button. And in order to do that, uh, to, to fix this issue and to always have the, the arrow, uh, we need to go back to the code and uh, here where we have the the, the layout uh, of the home we need to define like the initial route uh, when uh, you land on any any other route so basically this is going to recreate all the all, all the screens down the road until it reaches the uh, the deep linked uh, route so to fix this situation we need to come to the layout and export const unstable settings and Inside this, we need to define the initial route name to be index. So basically, uh, this is the home 
the home or the index route within the home folder is going to be the default or the initial route when you navigate as a deep link, you know, as a direct link to a particular route which is nested. So if I hit now reload and go to the uh, to the web app, if I hit reload, you see, we have the, the back. If I go back and comment out this part and reload, you see there is no back. So bring back again the unstable and now reload, we can go back, which is fantastic. And now let's test this uh, part on the iOS simulator as well. Uh, let me open up a new terminal here and type npx URI scheme. And now you see, since I'm uh, in Expo Go client, we need to define the deep linking differently. So usually if you go to the app.js where you have the schema, usually you can have my app colon backslash backslash and whatever is the route name. But since I'm using Expo Go, um, the route is different. You need to define it as expo column slash slash uh, and uh, the IP dash dash and then whatever is the route. So in our example, it's going to be home and details and I'll be using the iOS scheme. Okay, so hit enter and this is going to open directly the app on the details page. And as you can see, we still have the back button. So back is going to work. If I'm going again to the home, and comment the part here, do again the deep linking, opening the app, there is no back button. So just in case you are going to uh, have this issue, uh, don't forget that you have an unstable settings with an initial route name. And you can specify the initial route name uh, where this back should point, okay? That was it guys, it was a short tutorial, but I wanted to show you how I'm dealing with this situation where you have the tabs, you have another route as a stack and inner stacks that are interconnected somehow and how to display a route on top of uh, tabs, for example, and uh, how to deal with deep linking as well in case the back button is missing. Uh, if you found this tutorial uh, uh, helpful, don't hesitate to hit the like, hit the subscribe and also the ring bell uh, icon to be notified whenever I'm posting something new or go live. Otherwise, see you in the next one and uh, thank you very much for staying with me.